What have you uh, What have you made a Ferrari this year, Jaime? Well, it's it's been it's been up and down, hasn't it, for 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 the Scuderia? It's been terrible. It's been frustrating. Like very clear. Like they they they've do, they've built a really amazing car. Right from the testing, you could see in Barcelona, they were the quickest. <clears throat> they went to Australia. They were on pole, and for some reason, they just couldn't really make it with the engine failures and. Uh, not reliable at all. And at the end of the day, Formula One is not just being the quickest out there. You have to finish the race. Uh, for the drivers, I think it was also very difficult psychologically, especially because you know you're the quickest out there. You can win races. You can still be a title contender. And then for some reason or the other, they just mess up. They mess the strategies with the tires, then uh, problems with the engine. So, of course, psychologically there is a problem you know like it affects you somehow um and then you make mistakes mm -hmm. so i think all in all they just didn't find a way and uh that's frustrating that's frustrating and still a long way to go so let's see how they come up after that well it's certainly been tough as you mentioned and i'd like to get your take on uh, both of the ferrari's drivers both charles uh, and carlos both incredible drivers, both have that hunger that you mentioned just before, um, not having won a championship before. Uh, how do you think uh, the two of them compare to each other? Well, I, I, I can talk, um, I can talk especially on Carlos side because um, I know him since a very, very long time, since our Red Bull days in the junior team program. And I think um, Carlos is a super complete driver in terms of, uh, he's a dynamic driver. And this doesn't mean like he's a very explosive driver on making this amazing qualifying lap, which he, he also has, but he needs to have all these kind of um, confidence where he understands the car, where he really is um, controlling the situation with everything, and then he can deliver his very best. And when he does, he's unstoppable. Um, you know, we, we, we've seen Carlos doing some mistakes at the beginning of the season because he was not feeling comfortable with the rear of, of the car. He was not feeling comfortable um, in Australia, Imola, you know, many races at the beginning of the year in Canada. And then all of a sudden we feel like he just came back and uh, he managed to improve his performance in qualifying. He's doing amazing races. We, don't, we, we can't forget he beat Charles on his, on his first year in Ferrari. So... I do rate him as one of the top and best drivers in, in, in actual F1. He has an amazing head. He deals with pressure like anybody else I see in the field. He stays calm when people and press are talking, which is this is super important in Formula One, you know, to keep your head mm. chilled. And um, I think there is still some, some more performance from, from his side. I really want to see how how he finishes the season and how everything goes for him because I just see his, his improving curve is, is just getting better and better. Mm. Well, having said all of that, then this weekend must have been really hard for you to watch with not only one pit stop mistake for Carlos from Ferrari, but two. Yeah, and it's not the first time we've seen it. So it's frustrating, as I said before, you know, because you really expect the best from your team and at every race. Especially when now it's not just about having the best car and doing amazing laps. You can't really fail anywhere on the pit stop, on the strategy. If you want to go for the title, you have to finish the race. You have to finish in the top three. This is something like Carlos is really aware of. If you, if you, if you look at his performances and, and his average scores, he's always in the top five, top six. When it rains, he deals with the situation in a really perfect condition and you know he's managed to always survive which is super important for a top team so you know if you want to go for the title you cannot really make mistakes and the team should really be aware that they are not performing well for the drivers at all like it's been a disaster it is being a disaster